When he wakes up, you should expect similar to when he woke up from the previous procedure. Just, just a little bit of a cough. I don't think he should have that much pain or discomfort at all. He's allowed to eat after myself. We'll give you something to eat when you wake up. You like ice cream? The airway is a vital anatomic structure. There is nothing more basic or fundamental than our ability to breathe. To be able to provide families an expectation that we'll be able to have their child breathing normally is particularly satisfying. Some of these patients have really urgent issues, so timing is an essence. At Center for Airway Disorder, they see three services within a day or two, and then we will get them a comprehensive plan within a week. The quality of the physician that we have is remarkable. We have about 30 physicians who work with us in different departments and divisions. Each are world recognized in their specialties. And I'm very happy to say that we have one of the largest volume of certain from a minimally invasive perspective. Lift up the epiglottis. Perfect. I like the way you're doing it right on the spot. You're not skipping any point. Keep going up. The care of these patients just doesn't stop at the time of the operation, but they require follow-up in a consistent and protocolized manner. And that sort of tailored approach and multidisciplinary approach, I think is what really makes us very unique. We have a weekly airway conference. We've had a number of different centers from all over the country call in, refer patients to us. I've had a few patients, one in particular, who kept coming in with these events at home. We got genetics to see them and they picked up seizure activity. That's why I think it's a good idea to get neurology involved. The facility that Boston Children's provide for us is second to none. We have one of the largest feeding and swallowing program in the country. And we are providing care not only from a diagnostic perspective, but from a therapeutic perspective. Overall, everything has progressed really nicely. When you stopped nursing around 12 months, did you guys notice any change in his swallowing at that point? He eats and he drinks. All his lipids yeah. are thickened. Yeah. Little bites body. I'm very proud of what we have here. It has been great for the patients because we can provide better care for them and we are pushing the envelope forward.